hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i went to the flea market today and i thought i would just share some of my awesome finds from the store so the first thing that i got was this bag of barbie toys from mcdonald's all like 90s it smells pretty bad but i snuck a my little pony in there i just saw it on the side and i stuffed it in there i was like oh they're all in <laughs> so i'm excited to go through it and see like which ones i got Ooh. and i got these gloves which are really cool what They smell like shit. Oh, yeah. We got these cool gloves. And they have these cool puffs right here. They are awesome. And I got these gloves to go with this hat. And the reason why this hat is so spectacular is because it's like a Tammy or like a French beret, whatever you want to call it. But so it goes like this. I love these hats. I just think they are so cute. And I actually got this. So I have the full set. But do you know why? <laughs> I'm trying, okay? Like, I'm trying, but look at this doll. She is gorgeous. I love that poodle. I'm, like, dying. But her outfit is everything I love and more. So, I thought I could look like shopping chic Barbie. I cannot wait to see what color shoes she has. I hope they're black. She's just so pretty. I love that poodle. I love it. I'm so excited. Definitely a new favorite. Superstar Barbie is my absolute favorite. Love her. Besides like the vintage face, like the enchanted evening Barbie face. I love vintage uh, Superstar Barbie so much. So I'm so excited. Yeah. And I thought like, oh, it could be one of my costumes tomorrow for Halloween. I'll be shopping chic Barbie. <laughs> just need a black poodle. So that's what I got, and then I got like a bunch of, Whoops. you bit your lip? I got a free Bible, so cute, came with hand sanitizer, and I was like, do you take donations? And they were like, nah. So I got this really cute notebook and pencil. And all these Jesus books. I'm down for Jesus. I'll 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 read about it. And I love that like this color bag. It is just so pretty. I'm gonna decorate my bathroom with this purple bag. What's wrong, buddy? Why doing what? Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm so excited for this. And then let's see what we got in this bag of dolls. So, we got this My Little Pony, which is so cute. I don't know who it is, but what does it say? It says it's Star Swirl. Anybody know who Star Swirl is? This one is Romantic Bride. So cute. Um, we got Paint and Dazzle. Oh my god, I had her. Definitely. Or my sister had her. Teen Skipper, I had her. Not the McDonald's toy, but actually had the real Barbie. Don't know who she is, but so cute. <laughs> this is definitely a birthday Barbie. Her head's like popping off, but... Do you want me on the side? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You alright? Ballerina. 
He goes like this. This ice skater, she's so cute. This roller skater. And who's this? Western Stamping Barbie. I love her. So, yeah, super excited for that. <laughs> That's my haul from the flea market today. Not a lot, but it was good. Still spent too much money. And I do have this package I should open and see what I got in here. What did I order on Macari in like a sleepwalking order? What did I buy? I think I know. I like to bid on stuff and then like go to sleep and turn off my phone and just hope that they accept me in the morning because I like always do the cheapest option. So we'll see if they accept it. But I guess this person must have. I think it's... Let's see. I was on a kick. I should have. What I like about these gloves is that they have the little finger that you can use your phone. So I like that. So then you can wear your gloves and be warm, but also take pictures of your kids that are running around playing. So that's cool. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of tape. I can't get it open. This is so hard. This is too much freaking tape. <laughs> Do you know what the scissors are, Lexi? No. You don't? <laughs> Oh, thank you. My daughter, come show the camera your beautiful face. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I just quit vaping, so like um, I'm dying right now. I want to buy one, but I'm trying not to because I don't want to die. But now I'm fiending, and that's fun. Everybody's going to think I'm such a nice girl tomorrow at work. Because, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got the package finally open. Let's see what I bought on Macari in a sleeping haze. Why is it so freaking crazy like this? I don't think it needs that much. This is not, this is like a literally $10 doll. This is no like fucking expensive ass doll. They literally shipped me a silk stone one time in a macaroni box. And the fact that I'm getting like this $10 doll wrapped like a mummy in a sarcophagus is on another level like appreciate it it's high star rating for sure but also royal pain in my ass just had to get all this fucking tape off who does that like oh my god oh my god unnecessary for it i know what this is should i just say it all of this packaging is unnecessary for an enchanted evening bargain when they are literally a dime a dozen. This is not a rare fucking doll. Another layer. I feel like I'm playing past the parcel. The f she is like a little bit rare because of her hair color. So let's hope because I'm hoping it's black. Is it black? Better not be fucking brown. It's brown. Are there only brown and brown and blonde? There's no like red or black. Enchanted evening. This box is mint condition. Should I leave her in the box? I don't really want to. But now that I know she has a black hair, she has brown hair. Maybe I will. Let me show you my Enchanted Evening collection right now. It is growing and I just love them all. There's this one that I just got, which the box is pretty good. So maybe I should leave her in the box. But look at my Enchanted Evenings. I just love them. What can I say? So now I have to go through all this trash and clean up my little filming area. So, Also, my friend gave me this chandelier for whenever I have a doll room. Um, I hope this seems like a lot of work too. How do you even begin 
to figure this out even though like I was gonna just like drop it off at the salvo but like I guess it is nice and I should keep it Boop. pretty she's like that would look pretty in your dorm room I'm like you're right it would anyways my favorite thing of the day is obviously this doll Oh my god, I'm unboxing her for sure. Like, I love the box, but the box smells. And I have to touch that poodle. I have to. Stay tuned. Let me prop you up on this Fairytopia doll while we unbox Shopping Chic. He had her listed for $45, and I was like, yo, you have to give me a deal. Because I'm about to go over there to that Elmer's boutique and buy the hat to match, and you gotta give me a deal. And he was like, are you dirty? Okay, so this one comes with cutouts. A little shopping box. Money. Sunglasses to match. I need those. I love those. So cool. Look at her and the poodle. And then her in the jacket when she takes the jacket off. Is she like an actor? Who is she supposed to be? Everything's cheetah. I love it. Oh my god, she's so pretty. I love her eyes. And that and that red lipstick stop she's really cute this is a beautiful doll <gasps> look at this fucking poodle it is so funny like this is like probably half the reason why i bought it and another half is because of the hat <laughs> so she does come with a stand oh her shoes are black her hairbrush is black so cool black is my favorite color i love the black hairbrush I always get like white so black is cool oh my god these shoes ah they're so pretty okay i'm really pumped on her and her stand is black it says shopping chic how cute that's really so pretty we are pumped and it's just a saddle stand that's what she does anyways i'm totally gonna be here for her halloween tomorrow we're going to try to whoop it out. <laughs> really cute. I just need a black poodle. Does anybody have one? I want one. I want to buy a black poodle. I should have got my hair trimmed today. It looks like shot. So, yeah. Really cool. Let's. These Barbies from the 90s have those twisty ties in the back. And I remember when, like, growing up for Christmas, we'd open our doll and be like, wow, and then, like, hand it to our dad and be like, open it. My poor dad had to do this to, like, hundreds of dolls for at least 16 years of his life. And then I stopped collecting dolls for a while. I always, like, appreciated them. I bought them for my niece. Like, when I turned 18, I became an aunt. So I stopped, like, buying dolls at 16. Gave them all fucking away. Two years later, my sister gets pregnant has a baby girl and then I started buying dolls for her I bought her like every Tinkerbell doll every Monster High doll every Ever After doll but my niece being the child she was she cut all their hair off all of them she fucking cut them all off cut all the clothes up made her own custom outfits so all of her dolls were trashed um, I didn't really care though. I was just happy to buy her dolls, but then I had a son. I didn't really care about dolls. I was always buying dolls for her still, but then she turned like, what, 13 and stopped playing with dolls. And then I had a daughter. So I started buying my daughter like birthday dolls, like as collector items and she loved them. Oh, wow. I love this doll. New favorite, new favorite. This jacket is amazing. This jacket is amazing. Ah, ooh. Nothing. Nothing. 